What's up guys, it's your boy Pete, and welcome back to Planting with Pete. Now, if you're new here, this channel consists of almost everything house plant related. That tickles your fancy, hit that subscribe button, sit back, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, um, on today's video we are going, um, we're doing a Hoya collection video. Now, um, this is honestly the second time I'm recording this video. Nothing went wrong with the first one, I just really didn't like the actual setup, or basically how I was going over the plants. So I'm going to redo this today. Um, it was basically just me just holding the camera. You guys will see it. And then what's very strange is like two of the Hoyas that I, one of out of two of the Hoyas that I mentioned, you guys, I recorded, I don't, it's crazy. The days are different. So let's just say if you're in my time frame, I recorded that video not even a, not even a week ago, you guys. I would say maybe four to five days ago, again, less than a week. And oh my goodness, the leaves is like, I don't know. It just just shot off. Well, I mean, I did do a um, heavy fertilizer, which, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it needed more water. Maybe it needed more fertilizer than normal. I don't know. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Now, instead of this time, well, instead of this time, this time I'm going to hopefully not, oh, my goodness, knock anything down. I'm actually using my stand in here, you guys. Um, I have two now, one for inside and one for out. Um, and as you noticed, I haven't been recording inside because there's really no need to anymore. I mean, unless I just want to, but other than that, you, anyway, you guys, we're going to jump straight into it. Um, the only one that I might not move, I'll move it anyway. Why not? You know, because <laughs> oh, why not? All right. So let's start right here. This is my... Um, I probably should pull the camera down so I don't have to. These things are growing, growing. I'm just not understanding. And then also, my um, a lot has changed. This we'll get into it, but let me pull this here. Whoa, stay. And th we got a lot to talk about. I'll probably save that part for another um different video, but. There's a lot, and I mean a lot going on. Okay, here we go, you guys. Um, whoa, okay. Ha. Um, this one here is my not Ellen Sunny. Yeah, <sighs> feeling okay. Back this up. This is when I ordered it, was that supposed to be in a why do I keep wanting to say Ellen Sunny? Yeah, a, a, fin, a Finland Sunny. Yeah, Hoya. No crap, you guys. When I got this for my birthday of last year, it was supposed to have been at least um, when I looked at the, the receipt and stuff. I got this for a gift for my birthday. Um, it was supposed to be in a Callista Phyla, but does not. This is not a Callista. I mean, it could. But I've seen Callista Phyla's that have more of a cleaner. The vein nation is a lot more cleaner. There's not extra veins. It's more of a straight straight a straight um line to them but anyway she has grown like so freaking much i wish i can get this let's do this you guys this is gonna drive me cuckoo there we go um but yeah um she has grown a lot and as you can see she started growing my fingers all right but yeah this leaf here Attached to it, still kind of soft, is another um, vine. When I got her, she had one, two, this leaf, this leaf, four leaves, I think. I lost one. Um, it turned completely out yellow, kind of how this one is doing, but everything else that you're seeing now is new, and I love her to death. Um, one thing that I do love about these here plants, as you probably can see and tell, is the venation. I don't know what happened here. You guys let me know down in the comment section below, but whatever the heck it was, I sprayed the crap out of it and it's not doing anymore. Could have been, um, what's that stuff called? Mold. Um, that part, but the humidity, okay, whatever. It's 46 now, but guys, when I got in here, it was 81 degrees and I think it said 67 or 80. Nope. 73. Nope. 63% uh, humidity in here, but fans are always going and air circulation. But anyway, um, I'm pretty sure this is some type of Finley Sunny Eye. Um, 
type of Hoya, but again, it was sold as a uh, Callista Fila, and you can just tell just by how the, the ridges and the, the ripples, the leaf shape, and then also, like I said, that um, distinctive straight veinage that it has on. I had one, you guys, if you remember. Yeah, that happened. Prop box happened, but all in all, you guys, I do love this here plant. Um, I was not, okay, okay, if you've been following me, then you know for a fact I was not a Hoya. I could not understand why, sorry guys, the door cracked. I could not understand why people were so like Hoya, Hoya, Hoya. That is why you hear the backstory of some of these that are OGs that just should not look like a OG, but it is what it is. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just freaking loving these here. Plant the Bay Nation is always a good thing, you guys. And I just, I jumped on the Hoya train and unfortunately, um, there are a lot of other influencers that are finding these here freaking plants. Now, I do have... Do I have any of these that look alike? I mean, not really. I mean, okay. All right. So this is the thing. If you're not a Hoya person, kind of like I was, then you would definitely see like all these look the same. They don't. They don't. Even if you have like the slightest of the vein nation. And again, just like the Callista Phyla, like it doesn't have these little oval things. It's like a it's clean. It's a sleek, clean, sexy look. Anyway, you guys, Hoya, Callistophila, not Callistophila, feeling Sony out type is what I'm going to go with. But again, it was given as a um, some type of Callistophila. So, tis with the tis. All right, you guys, you may have seen this one already. Um, I really want to do inserts, you guys, on these here plants because, like I said, I did this video not even a week ago, and I expressed to you that this thing will be even longer when you see it again. Like you see, like on my eye there, all that is new. All right, back short backstory of you guys. This is the house plant of the month of February. Um, I got her, unboxed her, left her for dead. Let's just call it what it is. Um, but Hoya. Marind oh, here we go. Merendithi, Merendithi, Meredith. <laughs> um, again, much. She was much bigger than that. She had leaves here. Um, it was double-sided leaves here. It was a longer vine that had um, two more small, medium leaves, and then one of the little bow leaves that were coming out. But yeah, I left it out, and it dried out. But um, she's growing. No issues. At least that I know of, that I can see, um, rooted there. Hoya Merendithi, again, Bay Nation is like freaking, freaking wonderful. I mean, check that out. Come on. Now, these are getting a little bit more affordable. Um, this was the only, well, these two are only two leaves that um, made it. So, I'm guessing this one was probably came out before the other leaf. If the, Well, if there was another leaf there. I don't know, you guys, but Hoya Merendithi, again, a nice plant with awesome Vay Nation on her. I really want to put my, um, that is like, come on. But this was like paper. Yeah, you guys, there's a video. Why is there? I have no clue why this is a Hoya video. Let's just do that. That was strange. I don't know. But, um, again, Hoya Merendithi. Nice plant. I cannot wait until she gets much bigger than this. And again, that is her new growth there. Um, next plant we have. Again, I'm not going in any specific order, you guys. We're just grabbing them um, as we go. Now, this here, Sabah. Uh, this leaf is going to go. I'm not sure. But I was kind of looking at it like this other one down here that it looked kind of the same. I don't know, but we're going to spray her. This is the, Ho oh, ha, the Hoya Sabah. You guys should remember her. This growth has, I really, hopefully about time, um, you can see the door swinging open. Hopefully about time um, I do decide to edit this. I can show you guys, like this new growth, it was just, it was there, but it was not as much as you see now. And this definitely was not there 
Um, so again, I'm going to spray this down with my heavy spray and we're going to see what that help. If not, then I know it's something um, I would say on the inside, but again, you see do grow everywhere, but um, pull your, oh my goodness, see that little leaf there? Uh, where is it? There it is. You see a little leaf there? Right over here? Like, come on. She's growing the Hoya Sabao. Again, the pattern of the Bay Nation is completely different, you guys. If, I mean, I can go into grave detail about the Bay Nations on some of these, especially after um, you've done your research and or just has been watching the plant grow. So, um, I got this here plant from the Hoya Ho, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but again, nice plant she's growing a little iffy about this year leaf but we're gonna spray it just in case and like i said if it's not the leaf then it's the roots hoya saba you again just come on you can't so yeah um next plant we're gonna go with the hoya borno um she's got the starts with the m um, but this here Hoya is a, I would say a moderate grower. It's not fast for me, but what I do love about this here Hoya is that the new growth comes in this dark plum, like sexy purple color, and then it fades off into this dark green. Now it does have, it has a, I don't know if you can hear that, a rough type of, rough type of edge on it. So um, it kind of reminds you of like the feeling sunny eye. It has like the ribbles. Um, it looks, what is that? Is it a bear paw? One of those paw plants in the family succulent looks kind of like one of those leaves, but much harder. Um, it does has like a, a matte type of feel to it. The leaves do come in. Uh, whoa, let me move this about, um, the leaves do come in a hairy type of, oh, there we go every type of color um she does have a new growth point there now what no let me see what normally happens what i have done um was if you guys have been following and watching the videos for a while um i did miss a good watering and i don't care if it's water growing in sphagnum moss if the sphagnum moss dry i don't care what it is it's gonna get hit hard extra hard so anyway it got hit and she did drop um the leaf that went with her and as you can see she is actually starting to turn um purple color as well um but um yeah we do have a new growth right there um i'm pretty sure once i figure it out uh, we'll get growing um i'm not sure i'm going to keep her to be honest with you but um as of now she is in the collection, and I do prefer plants that um, actually tickle my fancy, you know. So, and the best tickle is just the purple. I don't know. I don't know, guys, but we'll get to it. Hoya, um, Borneo, M something. Um, we have the Hoya Matilde, you guys. Remember, all these came from cuttings. At least 95% of these canes from cuttings. Um, but this is, oh, I'm look, I don't know why I'm holding it. <laughs> this is the Hoya Matilde, you guys. Freaking wonderful plant. Um, if you are noticing, all of my plants are grown in my dirty sphagnum moss mixture. There's a video or two um, on my dirty sphagnum mixtures. Nothing but sphagnum moss. Um, I use garden mulch. Yes, garden mulch. Um, perlite, maybe a cup or two um, or full depending on your uh, depending on your ratio that you're making um, of potting soil and potting mix and I just mix them together and we have dirty spag which is it works wonders and again um, I do love these clear containers because you can see roots it's just wonderful um, oh we're talking about the freaking Hoya it's the same as roots anyway <laughs> uh, we got these from cuttings you guys a couple of months ago if i'm not mistaken and i guess there's updates on them too as well doing good so what i did was we have three plants i think it was like two nodes um and i did cut oh i did cut um kind of what you'll see on some of the other smaller viney ones that have <clears throat> wasn't well 
even the other ones, they didn't. Tr Let's just say some of the other ones I got before and then some of the other ones grew quicker. That allowed them to get a trellis, as you can see with some of these over here. But um, anyway, she how they were growing, kind of like this one here. You know, they shoot off little area roots there. Um, I would place them across the soil, allow them to root, and then cut and separate them. So we turned two into four. There's another small one there growing. Um, so, yeah, freaking awesome. And, of course, we have um, new leaves. Um, and vines and things coming in as well. So regular Hoya Matil, maybe be the Hoya Matil Splash because some of these are a lot splashier than others. I mean, I don't know how that works, but um, yeah, so I guess we can go with just Hoya Matil Splash, you guys. And again, freaking wonderful plant. I like little buttons. And just like with all the rest of the Hoyas, oh, I have two heart-shaped leaves. I did not know that. <laughs> I have two heart-shaped Matils there. Oh, you can see it better. These two here. But Hoya Matild. Um, next, we have the Hoya Clemensorum. Now, oh, we've had a little struggle with this here girl for a little while. Um, mainly because of me, guys. Um, nothing special. I wouldn't say she's like the worst plant to grow. It, it was all me. All right, but. She, these roots are, I don't know if they're, I don't know. They look kind of like those fungal roots um, that grow because they're very different from these here roots of the Clemensoro. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just looking at roots. Maybe I should scoot over some more. There we go. But, um, yeah, she has given me two new leaves. The first new leaf came in a little wonky, which is still okay. Um, this one looks a lot better and as you can see um she is about like i really want to do it i keep saying this i want to do an insert because you you can definitely see like where do these leaves where do all of this come from like literally within a week a week you guys it's like well okay well also it could be well i come in here every day i mean well, i don't look at guys <laughs> hoya clemensorum again nice plant and of course Vaination on it. This I'm surprised this hasn't. It's connected somewhere. I mean, I could cut it instead of it wasting it, but it's not wasting it because look at it. You know, so um, all in all, nice plant, you guys. And again, the vaination. Now these newer leaves are a lot darker. Oh, I'm all off camera. These new leaves are a lot darker, but. Um, I'm pretty sure they will kick in as the plant grows and we definitely will see once this new growth come in as well so um yeah hoya clemensorum next hoya we can grab is hoya Carn um hoya hmm, coriana is supposed to be the super saver i'm not understanding that um now with this here hoya you guys has been like one of my troublest hoyas slowest Hoyas. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I have all but the slightest of clues what is going on here. This is like a very just, I don't know. Um, Again, now she has grown a lot. We did get, oh, there's a new leaf. <gasps> we have new foliage. Where did all this come from? I'm sorry, you guys. I talked crap about this here plant. Maybe because I talked crap about them when I did this video. I should really Ah, oh, I wish there was a way I could combine the videos without having to. Uh, it's already in my YouTube queue. I just need to do a thumbnail and stuff. Ah, oh, this it has new growth on it. Wait, where did the growth go? Oh, it's on this side. There we go. It has new. This was not there. I was literally talking crap about this year plant. But well, this is one of the plants you guys that came as a single node. And what I've done was allow it to branch onto the sphagnum moss and then just cut it and just allow it to keep growing. But this has been a very slow process, even with it being, um, oh, she's fine on water. There's water down, sorry, there's water down in the reservoir. So I have the slightest, any of the clues, um, what is going on, but. I might add a little bit more sphagnum moss in here to hear some of these more roots. 
just in case. But for the most, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm all off camera, but um, Hori Coriana. Let me know if you guys have any issues growing with these. And again, I just gave them a um, good fertilizing. So a lot of these things in here are just <sighs> Hori Coriana supposed to be super silver. Again, let me know down in the comment section what you think. I have the slightest of clues. I don't know, you guys. That's not a Hoya. That's not a Hoya. I want to save this girl for last, you guys. No, you know what? This is one of my pride and joys, you guys. We have officially done it. I don't know if this is an easy Hoya to bloom. I'm pretty sure it is because it's blooming. But I have a lot of others. Hello, Mr. Ladybug. I have a lot of other um, Hoyas that I'm pretty sure are easy to bloom as well. Yeah. Hmm. But I did get this one to bloom. At least I think I did. I'm pretty sure it was one of the things that I didn't want it to do was stress the Hoya out. Remember I said I missed the watering, but I don't know if that kind of whatever, but she has a bloom on her. I, I have some Hoyas right in front of me, you guys, so I'm trying not to um, knock them over or, oh, there we go. Switch something out, but here we go. So I can push it up to the screen. Where is it? There's my donkle. Let's turn it this way. Maybe you can see it better this way. Probably not. Oh, okay. No, where did it go? Here? So if it's here, there it is. I don't really want to touch it, but... Okay, Hoya. Where are we? There we go, guys. There's my donkle. I got a donkle. I got a donkle. I got who? I got a donkle. I got a freaking donkle. I was... Guys, I'm excited a little bit. Whatever, you know, but um, uh, Hoya Australis Lisa. This plant has grown so much, if you remember. Um, we got her maybe, I have no clue, but a lot of these newer leaves, I would say wider leaves and a little bit smaller up here would have been new. And I got this little portion down below and all of this vine that you're seeing, all of this is new. It even... I had to, you see what I'm saying? All right, door. Um, and we have new leaves. So I'm just loving this. I'm loving, I'm, it has a donkle and they're getting riper. All right, is it riper? Yeah, they're getting riper. All right, and I'm loving this here. I'm freaking loving it. Again, grown in um, dirty sphagnum mix. <coughs> Excuse me. But yes, guys, come on. Like we have a, I need to move this for you. We have a freaking donkle. We have a donkle. Right there. We have a donkle. All right, we also have a ladybug. Um, right there. They're still in here, you guys. Um, this is like... Guys, come on now. Now, she has slowed down. Now, I don't know. I don't know. Look at this. Like These leaves are freaking tasty. Hoya, Australis, Lisa would definitely recommend this plant to anyone. The prices definitely have come down on these. Um, I'm so excited, you guys. I have a donkle. And it's the, one of the leaves, the flowers are fixing to donkle. Like, one of the flowers are fixing to freaking donkle. I don't want it to fall off, but... Okay, we're going to leave it alone <laughs> so we don't mess it up. But um, one of the blooms are trying to bloom. Let's see, can we... Where is it? There it is. You see it? That one in the front is blue. Pop the pop. And I don't want it to. Anyway, you guys. For your Australis Lisa. Oh, a freaking wonderful plant. And again, it's a must have in your collection, you guys. Um, this is one of the OGs. Um, this is by Hoya Carnosa. I always get this. Princess. Right? Yeah. Wonderful. I mean, nice little, little, she's a nice little size. Um, if you guys, hmm, remember the story, backstory on one of these, massive pot of these. Um, I had my store, my Etsy shop, and I was just chopping them up and selling and did most of trading for a lot of these in here as well um, for this little girl. But she has been growing back, and I was, oh, this is like the new growth. Is what makes this plant look so. Look at that. 
that pristine green around the freaking edges. It's not like splashed. Well, it is a little splashy, but it has more of a crisp, clean sort of splash. It was like a one of those splashes that were meant to be there, if you get what I'm saying? Intentional splash. But Hoya, Carnosa, Queen, if I'm not mistaken, Princess, if I'm not mistaken. But freaking wonderful. And again, I give all this new growth to it. Goes to this spider form of light. Um, she loves it. Can't say anything else about it. Um, there was a green. It had reverted, but I did end up cutting it off. And I think I put it in the regular um, Carnosa pot, which it blends in. It's just green, you know? Um, oh, my goodness. This is another one that is just, just I'm not understanding how much it has grown since I talked about it. Hoya, Microfila. It's the shooting star, Hoya. You guys remember, again, I got this one a while back. And it snapped in the box there. And the only thing had grown, aside from these two new that popped up, this was in the This is stressful. Luckily, I got the video. But these four leaves, one, two, three, four, were the only ones that were on here. And this was like last week. I did give it. I, this one might be a little bit more thirstier than others. Um, I wish I had a um, pot, a pool pot or a nursery pot inside of here. But when I got these, I didn't. So we just filled it up with dirty sphagnum moss so I can at least pull out and check the, the roots in them. But again, I gave them a heavy watering and heavy fertilizer. Well, regular water, just a little bit more fertilizer than usual, which I can tell my plants when I, when I use fertilizer. And I don't, guys, we're going to go on a rant. Hoya, microfiler. I think it's a microfiler. I'm not even going to do that marginata thing because we have that one over there, and that's a mess trying to pronounce. I thought they don't changed it, but Hoya, shooting star Hoya, you guys. Again, just let me know. Does she needs more water? She gets adequate light. That's bottle farming, no joke. So I know it's not light. So it has to be like water and maybe more fertilizer more water let's let me know down in the comment section below um next plant that i can grab this is not a hoya i do have a few plants here that are not hoyas um in the hoya table oh another one that has i understand where i go when i go we'll talk more about it at the end let's get through these hoyas this is another Hoya, you guys. This is a Hoya um, Parawak teddy bear. I once seen this on one of my um, YouTube influencers channel. Who had this? I can't remember, honestly, but um, it was a long time ago, at least about a year or so ago. But anyway, I found this one and got it. She has grown tremendously. Everything that you're seeing, like all of this here is new. A lot of these new... Um, Let's see. Let's see what's new, you guys. One, two. All right. So when I got this here plant, it had this leaf. This is just a tag, you guys. I keep saying I was I was going to forget these plants, but I know every name of my plant in here. Um, I might have a, a brain fart kind of like that. Um, Hoya, <laughs> Borneo, yeah. But that is, I don't, but anywho, um, this is the teddy bear Hoya. I think it is renamed to a Parawak maybe, but I already thought it was a Hoya um, Parawak teddy bear. So I, anyway, you guys, um, nice plant. Oh, again, with the Bay Nation, like you can't go wrong with this here plant. Oh, like a lot of this... Uh, we have a story about that there with a lot of these here plants, but anywho, doing good, doing freaking awesome again. I don't know if they're like grown in different lighting conditions. Maybe I'm pretty sure they were, to be honest with you. Um, and I've also noticed it has a little hairy fuzzies that stay on there for a long, for as long as they can. Some of the older ones are a little bit more furry, um, but also jagged, kind of like the Borneo over there. But nice, 
nice freaking leaves you guys all these have come in my care we have new leaves on this none of this was there none of this is there two new leaves there you guys new growth point coming oh crap you can't see on that side uh, only thing i'm waiting on is this growth point here to is that a new Sheesh. okay no that's a root okay i'm waiting for it to curl back up um, and start pushing back out new growth but i'm pretty sure eventually um, it's going to shoot out another branch somewhere else but hoya teddy bear a hoya uh, parawak male a mala m-a-l-y-a m-a-l-a-y myla teddy bear hoya <laughs> parawak um, the next one gorgeous i fell in love when i got this one and also a lot of these have splash i don't they didn't start off that way um but they do um but do now next hoya you guys we have the hoya cortizia or cortizzi um a very iffy grower this is an og as well um what i ended up doing um with this hoya um was doing a lot of trading when they were the it hoya a couple years back so i did a lot of trading and selling on this hoya but i did keep a few cuttings and for a while these cuttings did nothing 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 um but i don't know maybe i'm fertilizing more i don't know well no they needed a brighter light they were up under one of my um lower power light for my philodendrons but once i down in the hoya cave if you remember that once i did get sorry about that guys camera cut off but once i did get my um spider farmer lights everything just seemed to have um evened out now um we do have some crazy growth there was a i probably knocked it off um where people would say like some of the it will give you leggies all right so what i normally do is um if it does start to do the leggy thing um i just cut the whole tendril off and i just throw it away um most i don't know flat mites i uh, did things it's just when people say flat mites, it's just and you keep hearing it, it just starts to stick. Now, now my whole just got flat mites. Like, come on, I don't know. But if any of my plants start to do that leggy thing, especially if they're not like some of my bigger growth that will give you kind of like the teddy bear or some of these other ones that will give you bigger leaves and it will space out between nodes, then fine. But these here should not have like a six foot space between nodes. Um, and then it just randomly starts to push off new growth. But ever since the spider farmer, you guys, she has been growing. And I'm loving her. her Hoya Curtizia or Curtizia, however you want to pronounce it. Um, let's go with... Now, a lot of these have not been moved since we did uh, the rearranging. This is not the Hoya. Um... I don't even want to try to pronounce this, but this is the Hoya Albo Hoya um, Marginata Barragata. That one, all right. Again, freaking growing. Hey, Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Ladybug. Um, what I do love about this Hoya, besides the texture, um, is that again, the Bay Nation even though it's a little bit subtle, but um, you can feel it when you rub your hands across the leaf itself. Again, I got this from this cuttings. If you guys remember, she has like grown, grown a lot. She did give me a pot of gold leaf. If you guys follow Jacqueline's Younger, hers did the same thing, but um, I don't know if it, I don't know. I just wish that it was going to, you know, continue that growth pattern, but unfortunately, it didn't, so it just, I'm trying not to knock all, no, see what I'm saying? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you guys. That was, okay, I got it, that was my Jose Bueno. Oh. Um, but yeah, you guys, she is growing, I love when the new leaves come in. Let's see, can we get in here, where is it? There she is, I love when the new foliage, is that? Yeah comes in but she is growing with no problems and starting to actually spread out um there's a ladybug um new growth as well 
Now this is what I'm saying, but I can see, oh there we go. I can see them there. And then I also barely can see them there. And anyway, guys, growing. Oh, growing just fine, Mr. Ladybug. Albo, we're not gonna do it, but it's an Albo Marginata Barragata Hoya. Um, next Hoya. Okay, we're intertwined. We are intertwined. One of the OGs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, uh-oh. One of the OGs, you guys. We have the Hoya Crinkle Lake. Now, um, I sold a lot of these. I actually got these for free from one of my nurseries um, here in my hometown. He had brought in a huge pot, a huge pot of these, and it was not for sale. And I definitely asked him how much he was not for sale. So I was like, oh, crap. He's like, well, I can give you some cuttings off of the one. And I said, yeah. But I didn't want the Hoya. You know, I just knew that it was like one of the it Hoyas and I can, um, could grow it out and sell. And I sold the crap out of all of those Hoyas. Um, had enough to propagate. I traded one, but he gave me about six to eight cuttings. Oh, hello, Mr. Ladybug. Six to eight cuttings of this here Hoya. Um, I sold all but one uh oh that's that must be a newer leaf see how big it is i sold all but one um and that one i just kept and continued to propagate as you can see so she is still growing has a lot of the older original leaves um this is guys i did not know a long time ago long story short you guys i left this hoya for dead i mean i was saying i was told that hoyas didn't need water and i took that to heart and that's when I realized Hoya oh, could get spider mites and thrips. It was like somebody had thrips. It was like somebody had got pepper and just threw flakes all over this thing. I was just so destroyed. It was a mess. But um, luckily I did keep her. Um, again, a lot of new growth. Um, oh, she did have, there is some down here that are new. Um, I definitely can tell you which cuttings are new. There are ladybugs that scared the crap out of me. Maybe this one. I don't know, but um, a lot of these down here. Is it this one? No, no. I don't know. No, I don't know. But anyway, guys, um, she was doing that leg thing and then gave me some uh, little leaves at the end, kind of like the Chelsea that you're here about. So I just cut her, and I ended up putting the prop down. This is a later book that scared the crap out of me. Um, the pool, um, I cut it, and I popped it in water. I just stuck it back down in here. But Hoya Crinkle Lake, freaking wonderful plant. Um, sturdy. Would definitely recommend to anyone. Um, of course, no peduncles. No peduncles. No peduncles. I don't think I'm going to get Padonk. I'm just, I don't know. That's why I said that Australis has to be like one of the easiest, oh, one of the easiest growers. I mean, flowers, because I don't know. All right, guys, next one. Okay. I should have been trying to put these back while I talk, because now I have a lot to put back. All right, this is my regular, one of the first, the first Hoyas I had. Luckily, again, I kept one vine. Now, I've been propagating ever since, and this has been over maybe a year or so um, since I've been into Hoyas. But Hoya Carnosa, regular Hoya Carnosa, I guess. Um, nothing really special about this Hoya, except for the foliage. It's like this dark. It's kind of like the Hawaiian when it comes in, like that new growth there. Um, the purple color, you can see the speckle. <laughs> I don't really call it splash, I call it speckle. And you definitely can see the OG leaves, you guys. Again, this is when I thought that Hoya needed super uber light to grow. So anything you see like that, that is like old growth, especially on any of my Hoyas, um, or especially the ones that are OGs. Any of the newer ones, I know better now. <laughs> but the OGs, like, this is like wonderful though, but still no peduncles. Again, grown in pure sphagnum moss. Um, did we have the same issue? Yep, we had the same issue where um, a lot of those, when it gets to a certain point and stop growing, um, I'm pretty sure it's working on a new growth point somewhere. 
Um, so what I normally do is I just tip, I tip it. I cut it, and once I cut it there, she pushed out this whole entire vine here, which I'm looking at has some nice hairy foliage, weird kind of bumpy um, area roots coming out. But again, Hoya carnosa, nice wonderful plant. All right, this is getting very tight, you guys. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this right here. Now watch. I'm gonna move something else, and then I'm gonna wish I didn't do that. All right. If you're wondering what this is, I can clean this table. <gasps> All right. Um, this is my tri stand, and this is the, my light that's actually not plugged up, um, which I might plug up. Okay. Whoa. All right. Next, I told you. Next plant we have that you are currently looking at is the Hoya Villatinoides. Now this here plant, if you remember, we got her um, a few months ago at our, which, does it matter remember which way this thing was turned? Let's look at Now if you guys remember, we got this plant a few months ago. Back, is that going to be a, is that a peduncle? I'm gonna lose my mind. Just, we're gonna talk about the plant first. Uh, Hoya Villas Nordis. Yeah, Hoya. Yeah. We got this a few months ago. Um, we went to that plant tree, plant swapping tree. Um, there's tons of new growth again. Uh, very easy Hoya Bay Nation. You know I'm gonna talk about my Bay Nation. That is why I got her. The Bay Nation was like freaking wonderful, and honestly, still is, you guys. And then what I do love about um your plants even if you're a plant parent you like you look at these things like you've never seen them before it's like that lets you know how much a plant can bring you joy when you look at it and it's like even from the older growth that still turns you on this is like a freaking awesome plant you guys um no problems everything that you're, <laughs> that you're seeing is new she's vining like crazy i may have did the chop thing on her and when I did the top thing she may have sprouted like 14 different new growth points um, I'm seeing some type of greenery coming out at this corner here I don't know someone probably will tell me where is it is it there wait where's my finger right there there's a growth point coming out of there somewhere so and that might be a, a peduncle I don't know if it's a peduncle or not, but we shall see, you guys. Solar Village Noise, again, nice freaking growing plant. Um, again, I just love the Bay Nation, you know, and she's a very quick grower, very quick grower. And I do notice, uh, oh, there could be extra growth point, you guys, because I'm noticing that the growth points are coming out of um, some of the nodes. Um, next to the last Hoya, we have the Hoya Chelsea. Remember her? We definitely did cuttings on Miss Chelsea here. Whoa. All right. There we go. Uh, nice plant. All of this that you're seeing is new. So, um, she has grown. We got two cuttings, if you remember. The second cutting barely made it. I'm surprised she's still hanging on, but she's pushing off. New growth. I guess I can do this. Oh, all right. Miss Villa Tenortes is like really okay. So she is pushing out new growth, you guys. This is the second cutting. Um, the third cutting is right here. Um, you see all this extraness. This is what she was doing. Um, kind of how I did the rest. So I'm waiting for. Well, I actually don't have to wait. She's pushing out a new growth before I put her. Before we did this, if you remember, she didn't have that point. It was just this here leaf. So um, what I'm going to do again is cut it um, probably to the next node or below to allow it to grow correctly. But all in all, she's fine. And to be honest with you, she might do it on her own. Um, new growth. And again, no, no peduncles. Yep, no peduncles. All right, guys. Last plant that we have in the Hoya collection, which I'm like so freaking proud of. I really don't want to move her. Sheesh. I really don't want to move her, you guys. Goodness. All right, here we go. Last plant on the list, we have the Hoya Y80i. Now, oh, again, I could have got this Hoya back long when 
but I didn't, and I'm glad I did wait. Now, I wish this was a, a pot of the variegated YADI. Now, that's, that pot there, <laughs> that pot that works wonders. Okay, now I see the back side. Here we go. This is the back side that faces the wall. So, let's give you guys, this thing is full of lady critters. I say lady critters, I mean ladybugs. They're all up in this thing. <laughs> this is like the hangout spot for the ladybug. So, if you see like one, three, or four ladybugs in here, anyway. Hoya Waiedi ya. I do love when this plant comes in. You see this maroon color. All that is new growth. A lot of that is <clears throat> sun stressed. And I'm just loving this here plant. What is wrong with this leaf here? It's curled. I don't know what's wrong with that. I'll have to check this vine out on this one. I might just cut it, to be honest with you. It looks a little shriveled. Yeah, we're going to cut this off. This looks a little shriveled, guys. But all in all, a freaking great Hoya. Definitely would recommend you getting these, you guys. Very, very affordable. Very, very affordable. Um, you definitely can find these in the big box stores. But if you get some of those, I would definitely recommend you just clean them now. Allow them to dry out. But, like, come on. This here foliage. And, again, if this was the variegated one, which is another one that is still fairly pricey. But I would definitely want to get my hands on. Uh, more than likely a big pot or just keep buying nice size ones until I get a big pot because they grow fairly slow. And even with that, kind of like this here, Carnosa, that is still pretty, especially like in this here pot. It's compact. And again, the variegation is just like to die for. But Hoya Waiedi, you guys. Nice, nice plant. All right, guys, that is it here for today's video. Um, those are those are all my Hoyas <laughs> that I have in my collection. Now I will be, I can honestly say I will be getting some more. There are some more Hoyas that I do have my eye on and most of those um, come with the Bay Nation. So um, keep an eye on that. Um, do me a favor you guys, make sure you're subscribed, make sure the notification bell is on. This bell will keep you notified and let you know what is going on over here with Planting with Pete. Oh, I finally decided to turn my lights on. <laughs> kind of late now, but um, it's just, as you guys know, you've seen it. Um, yeah, I have like two more videos, I think, maybe three, possible four, you guys. After this, we'll be way into, whoa, we're probably into March, and I can, maybe two. Let's do two videos, you guys. I can do you guys a house plant tour, a growth space tour. You can definitely see what's going on in here all together. Um, but that is it, you guys. Make sure to subscribe, um, share the video, and I will see you guys on the next one.